All right, folks, big day. I'm back today. I got a voice. I've already filmed two videos this morning, so I'm not exactly sure how much of a voice I've got left, but it's good to be back. Your boy's been dealing with the swine flu for the last week. Shout out to the team. Dave's with us. What up? Cody. What's up? Those guys must have got the uh, the flu shot. Joe didn't get one. I didn't even know they still gave those things out. You remember when they would give them to us in prison and you had the option whether you wanted it yeah, or not? You, but you still had to go down there and sign? Yeah. Did you ever take it? Yeah. I never did. Bro, there was no way I was not going to... Have you ever had the flu in prison? No, Dave. I, I've never even been locked up. Of course I've had the flu in prison. But one thing about it, when you get the flu shot, everybody gets sick. You kind of get symptoms, but you don't get like full-blown flu. I've seen the damn prison go in quarantine after the flu shot. That was when it was over for me. No more. Wasn't going to be giving me no flu shots after that. I'll ride it out. Just like I did this past week. I spent this past week, or last week, it was not, yeah, last week. I spent last week like the guy on the couch. That's what I did. I watched more science channel and more history channel than I ever have. In my, I haven't watched that much TV since I was locked up. And that's kind of what I felt like. I felt like I was on house arrest. Big things going on today. God, I can't emphasize it feels good to be back. I feel like I, I, feel like I literally just got released from prison. That's what getting over being sick will make you feel like. I'm scared. You should be. Because now that I'm out, of the, I'm out of the woods, neither of you are yet. No. Could potentially both just be going in there yourselves. Yeah. So, folks, uh, what we're getting ready to do, Cody, we gotta hit the bank too real quick. What we're getting ready to do is it's Monday, and today is final walkthrough day on the house. Now, as far as I know, tomorrow I close on the crib. Tomorrow I'm closing on the crib. -o. I'm gonna be a homeowner tomorrow. In fact, I was gonna make a T-shirt. I was gonna take a, a white T-shirt with a big fat sharpie marker and just write homeowner on it that's how proud of this i am right homo on it <laughs> what? homo did you say you're gonna write homo on your t-shirt maybe homo nerd homo you said homo nerd why you got homo on your because i'm a homeowner oh homeowner i thought you said homo nerd that is a good idea though that's a good idea for some merch would y'all rock a shirt that says homo nerd. homo no homeowner it's yeah. short it's the slang so anyways um I was going somewhere, I had a point. Oh, but instead of the homeowner shirt, I've got a better idea. Uh, folks, you know, sometimes, sometimes people say some pretty negative things in the comment sections about the videos. <laughs> there was a point in, ooh, woo, breaking news. Somebody's getting pulled over. Boy, that's the undercover too. Undercover charges the donuts. And he's about to run that red light straight through the red. Oh, he's going to the mall though. I'm about to call my <laughs> He saw somebody run a red light, probably. You know, people say negative things on videos from time to time. And in fact, sometimes they say it a lot of times. It's all good, though. But one thing that I've heard quite a few people say, not quite a few, but one thing that I've heard people say is that, you know, sometimes from time to time, we do what is referred to as the clout chase. Well, what is it? Clout chase. You know, when we do videos about like Takashi 69 or, you know, Bill Cosby or any any celebrity i guess that's that's cloud chasing folks i would like to offer a rebuttal it's not cloud chasing not in my opinion folks we ain't doing no cloud chasing over here folks we're doing some house chasing chasing this house chasing this mortgage payment shit me you can edit that, out. You can edit that out later what no, that won't do it. That won't do it. what that was kind of cringe well, that was good, man. We ain't no cloud chasers. We some house chasers. We're getting ready to go chase this house right now. And then after that, folks, we're going on an adventure. We're going. Oh, yeah, the bank's closed. I just need to go into the ATM. Oh, okay. Damn, that sucks. President's Day. I didn't even think about that. Well, there's a reason why we're at the bank right quick. Uh, I got to get a little bit of money because I'm getting ready to go attempt to buy something off of OfferUp. Boy, it's been a long time since I've done something like this. OfferUp is such a funny world. You know, you talk with somebody, you make an offer, you offer up. And then you come to an agreement, right? Well, then somebody's got to let you know where they live at. <laughs> I mean, this is a refrigerator. You can't just throw this in the trunk of your car and come meet me at Target. So we're going to see how this goes. We're going to be going to a complete stranger's house. 
and snatching their refrigerator right up out of their right up out of their kitchen. Said they don't need it no more. Who don't need a refrigerator? <coughs> All right. Tape. <laughs> I probably got boogers in my nose, man. I've been sick. We're gonna go do the final walkthrough on the house. Hopefully everything's good to go. Today's a holiday. It's President's Day. Shout out to uh, whatever that's all about. And uh, <laughs> I'm guessing it has something to do with the presidents. And uh, tomorrow, we're buying a house. We're gonna do a house unboxing video tomorrow. Uh, but today, we're also gonna go buy a refrigerator. Big, big adventure, I can promise y'all. Big adventure on the way. Uh, but first, let's go to the house. Let's go home, Jeff. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make this not cringe. My last joke was a cringe. Let's see if I can do some like magic. Y'all ready? It didn't work. Yeah, let me try. Boom! We just appeared at the house. See how we did that? That was a magic trick right there. I matched the front door. <laughs> so we're gonna turn this place into a meth lab. Or not. Whichever one you want. What's up, beautiful? All right, we're here. All right, well, Dave is steadily all over off or up right now because he does not like what just, what, what all that, that's all police? Yep. My God, they following that. Boy, they following that Cadillac Escalade right there. All right, we just wrapped up the final walkthrough on the house, folks, and everything is good to go. Well, for the most part. It's funny when you're doing the final walkthrough and you're finding additional things that you didn't notice the first time, and you're like, you know, had I seen those the first time, would, those, would that have been enough for me to reconsider? There was nothing too drastic in that department. But we're done with that. And now we're on our way out to... BFE to go pick up a refrigerator folks for a rock bottom price folks this refrigerator was listed on offer up for hundred and seventy five dollars Joe what is wrong with it well I'll tell you what's wrong with it nothing uh, a woman posted that she was buying a bigger refrigerator she's upgrading she's getting rid of the perfectly good one that she has she was getting rid of it at a rock bottom price but it is offer up, there's always a but. Dave's, uh, what's, I, I, what's wrong, man? I, I don't get it, Joe. You were like, you know, you were like, hey, Dave, can you help me do this earlier? You, you know, you were asking me and, and you were, you know, I don't know, you, were, you didn't know how I would react to doing it because it was later in the day than normal. But then, when you found out that everything switched, you were like, right, you're doing it. You're in the boat. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Dave, that's, that's, you know, that, that kind of breaks my heart a little bit. Joe, you're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be there, in my, you know, if I need you. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. So the plan got a little, little shifty. I didn't realize we were going to have to go to the store to help the woman pick up the brand new refrigerator. I didn't, as soon as she found out we had a truck, we turned into the After Prison Show moving company again. We're gonna go do a good deed today. We're gonna help a woman out and get a refrigerator. All right, I got no idea where we're going. I guess we're going to this nicer part of town up here. And all I wanna know is, is that refrigerator morale high in the vehicle? Is the refrigerator ready to be moved? That's my question. <laughs> we're about to find out. God only knows who we about to meet off of Offer Up. We need, Spy cams is what we need. We need to. Because I don't know, that, like, you know, if we're good film. Hey, so we're just meeting Bob off of Offer Up. Bob, tell us how much crack you smoke a day. Uh, wow. So Selling the refrigerator slam out your house. I knew there had to be a trick to it. We got to go pick up the brain. There's still food in this thing. Oh, you can bet. You better bet <laughs> that fridge at the house is going to be. You saw the pictures on Offer Up. That thing was loaded. You can't move it if it's been on. It has to sit for like a few hours. Oh, no. oh. 
Man, she better have all the stuff out the fridge, man. All right, we're about to be there, folks. Wish us luck. If you never hear from us again, it was somebody off of Offer Up. <laughs> oh my God, folks, there is a ginormous refrigerator in the back here. We're leaving from JC Penney's. We've met some kind military folks, very nice people. <laughs> this ain't gonna slide forward, is it? This thing ain't going nowhere. Ain't no room back there. So, we're helping these folks out getting this thing moved. And Dave, what are your thoughts so far? I mean, they're nice. They are nice. They're nice, I'm not mad. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. I don't want them to see us. Very careful coming off here. Oh, uh, there goes the fridge. All right, well, we got one fridge on to the next one, riding uh, three deep in the front of the truck. Be very careful coming off the curb. And we're doing a little bit of mud on the tire action. Leaving, and you're in four-wheel drive. I know, I'm about to take it out. Uh, I got a straighten wheel out. All right. So, the dude told her to tell you 100 bucks, and then she said 120. Did she really? <laughs> Damn! All that work that you done did. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That's all right though. We got a good fridge for 120 bucks. Met some nice folks as well. They were really kind, uh, decent military folks, and uh, you can't beat the deal. Might have sold some side work. And Dave might have sold some side work. I gotta say, Dave, I give you a hard time a lot of the time, man. But you, without you today, none of this would have happened. Because you're the only one, it seems, who knows how to take down doors. Be breaking down them walls, too. Okay. Shout out to Dave, man. Dave uh, really helped us out. We got a green light, Cody. We're just going to... Oh, there goes something. It's catch. The reaction time is amazing. All right. So we got all sorts of refrigerator doors in the back of the truck. This turned into a monster adventure. Folks, I gotta let you know this is how it all went down. Uh, not only did we have to help these nice folks move a refrigerator from J.C. Penney's back to their place, I made a little joke in J.C. Penney's saying, uh, "You do live on on the first floor, correct?" Refrigerator had to go up a flight of stairs. Other refrigerator had to go down a flight of stairs. All doors had to come off of all refrigerators. Yeah, once again that. It's a good call because that refrigerator, no matter what, wouldn't have went out that door with the fridge, with the doors on it. Shout out to Dave, Dave the master refrigerator mechanic. I don't know, Cody would have figured it out. Yeah, I've taken them too. They're easy to take off. Well, the job is done. Whoa! This goes to the fridge. Put that in your glove compartment. Is that uh, our fridge? Yeah. Where do we take that from their fridge? I didn't take everything from their fridge. Yeah. Okay, folks. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Today is the day. Uh, I didn't film earlier today because that was the boring part, but the boring part is completed, folks. It is done. I done bought a house. I done bought my very first house after prison. A day that I never thought would ever come. And uh, after about 400 pieces of paper, a lot of signatures, the deed is done. And it's a done deed, yeah, literally. And uh, we're getting ready to go over to the house right now. This will be the first time that we're going over there. Being a homeowner, homeowner. my wife is going to meet us over there a little later on. I'm not going to do too much without her because, uh, you know, this is a very special moment for me and her. And I want her to be there as we like take the sign out of the front yard. Maybe we'll like set the for sale sign on fire or something like, I mean, we gotta do something spectacular. Kick it over, beat it to pieces, take a baseball bat to it. And throw it off the roof. Yeah, we done bought the house folks, it's super exciting. One of the main things that they talk about during the closing, when you're signing all of this paperwork, is you know, of course, they want to make sure that you know that you need to pay your mortgage on time, and if you don't, they could foreclose and all of that. But more important than that, they bring up the fact that you're you're responsible for the property in a very particular way. And what that particular way is, is again, they bring this up multiple times, probably two or three times, that you will not transform the resident, the residency, into a meth lab. I'm not bullshit. I mean, I'm, I'm being dead serious. They bring that up like two or three times. Now they laugh and joke as they do it because it's kind of a, 
it's kind of a crazy thing to think like if you're buying a house who is that going to be a deal breaker for whoa 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 what do you mean i can't make a meth lab we're closing today you're telling me i can't turn all breaking bad on this place what if i can't pay the mortgage i made a couple of jokes in that regard there were a lot of people who were there at the closing today our realtors the husband and wife team very awesome people uh my loan officer guy guy by the name of doug special shout out to him he was very very helpful throughout this entire process and you know the realtors they even got us a basket a home a welcoming home basket our first housewarming gift yeah it had a little cutting board in it with me and my wife's name on it uh, a bottle of champagne we're gonna pop some bubbly a little later on and uh that was a really sweet gesture when i saw the basket i'm not even gonna sit here and act all uh thug life for life so good. it almost it, it almost had me tearing up it was a really uh sentimental moment right there i'm happy for you joe i appreciate it david i can't thank you guys enough you and cody special shout out to the both of y'all love you man you guys have been uh you guys have been outstanding through this, especially after what we went through yesterday, what I put you guys through yesterday, <laughs> in an effort to try to get a refrigerator. You compensated well. Yeah. You 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 made uh you made like nine public thank yous this morning on the Bobo before and after I got there. Well it, it was cool. It was cool. You made me you definitely let me know that you appreciated it, you know, so You gotta have friends, you know, and when friends are there for you, that's a really important thing. And I had to let these guys know just how much it meant to me having them help me yesterday with this refrigerator that turned into us moving two refrigerators. But again, we're going over to the house. This is the first time we're going over there as a homeowner and <clears throat> very exciting time. We're also getting ready to start doing a ton of work over at this place. Not sure that we're starting that today. I mean, we're probably only gonna do a very little bit of stuff today, but tomorrow, I mean, this thing is about to get so serious, folks. I've ordered a dumpster. Yeah. Ordered a dumpster. Dumpster will be there tomorrow. And um, that's when it's really about to go down. So, right now, let's go see this brand new house. Hey, easy that killer with your little, your little. I guess not oh, boy, you think you in that Tokyo Drift in that damn, uh, Freeze. that Kleenex box of a vehicle. Oh, it's a Honda, what are those? A Leaf. Honda. Fits. I think people forget about what yield means. When are they gonna come take all these little lock boxes off of my front door? I think you can. Don't you have a key to this or the code to this? No, nah, it's um, it's um. Thumbprint. What if the police showed up? You know, that's what I'm really hoping happens. We should be like peeping through windows and shit right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break some windows down. <laughs> okay. Let's do it, Cody. This door has got to go. Oh, it stinks in here. Mm. Honey, I'm home. We got a whole bunch of remote controls to nothing. Boy, this is, uh, what you doing, Dave? You looking for the gas? Oh yeah, I can smell it. See little June Junes hanging out right there, boy. Oh, we got those. We got them. One of them joints was icy white. Hey, you! What are you doing in my house? What is that, lawn? Hey! That's what we're gonna use to beat up the for sale sign. All right, let's get ready to do some uh, some some renovations. Stop cussing, Dave. I'm ready to bust something up. There you go. So there is so much that we're getting ready to do in here. Uh, I don't even really know where to begin. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with this this room, just tearing this wallpaper off. The whole house is getting repainted. All of the floors are getting redone. That is the two main things, the two major things that are happening absolutely first. Wow, they did a good job on that. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. They gift wrapped that sucker. like a puzzle. Look at that. And they bought cheap floors but got decent underlayment. <laughs> Is it official? It's a da-da. Woo, boy! Hey, hey. <laughs> Homeowner's home! Hello. 
a lot of the homeowners home. Homeowners home, Jack. You, you want some Girl Scout cookies? Get away from my house while I call the police. All right, folks, this is where sh stuff is going to get real. Welcome to the jungle. All right, Dave, so what are you doing first and foremost? I was going to see if it pull away. This is all um, pretty bad. It's not wood. You might be able to get in there. <laughs> I might be able to get into it right here. So this is absolutely the cheapest of the cheap. The flooring that we're putting down is 12 millimeters. This is probably what, like three? Yeah. Five? Dude, I, I, I put this down a lot, man. It's good. You know what I hate about this stuff? Though? A box of it is heavy. Baby! Welcome to your house. A <laughs> hundred and twenty times different. I really appreciate it. I don't want to die. Was it hard to get down? No, that's the reason like, why we took it down. I literally pulled that whole wall off in almost one piece. What is this? It's... This is some like, um... Sheet rock? No. Yeah. I need glue up there. It looks really good. No, uh, it's just like a primer. This is, uh, buying a house. 